Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Uh, Happy New Year guys by the way. And in today's video I'm going to be um, showing you some upgrades that I did to my battle pack. To my uh, 75372 clone versus uh, clone and battle droid battle pack. Um, so the battle pack is one of the best values we've ever gotten. We've got the B2 super battle droids. We've got this octap trap trap thingy. And we also got this tap speeder of and the regular phase two clones but what i don't like about this battle pack is the clone side build so we're going to be upgrading this speeder with my custom design basically this design you can find on my replicable uh, it's free the instructions are free so if you want to go check it out download them use them build them how many you want because they're free and it easily fits, it's a very nice bark speeder design, it easily fits the clone trooper. Now, for the turret, I don't really have an upgrade, because I don't really see the point of a turret in this set. So I just, I'm just gonna take them apart from now and use the shields, because I have a lack of shields. And also those parts here, and this part, I'm gonna use the parts. That's what you can do with your turret, that's what you can do with the speeder. You can try and modify it, but I don't see the point. I think it just looks like a 4 plus build. A lot of people said it, and I'm gonna say it too. For the bell droids, I'm going to do a little something. The B2 bell droids, you cannot modify, I don't have what to modify, so they stay like this, and I also think they are very cool. So. I was scared to, to assemble them because I was scared they were cracked and it's hard to assemble them. Um, so, what I was saying, for the bell droids, for your second bell droid, the one that is not riding the step, I'm decided I'm going to give it this 10 ingot piece. My first time doing one of those upgrades for bell droids and they look fabulous. The step speeder. It's perfect, you can remove this part for mocks, that's basic knowledge. Um, and also for the droid side, I decided I'm, I, I will give them this spider tank, it's from the ATT set. It'll also, co it'll also complete a little bit, <laughs> make the clones a little bit... Give the clones a challenge, basically. This tri droid pod thingy or whatever it's called, I don't know, it's just a phone way 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 it's perfect only the problem is that you don't, you can't put pressure up here, but you don't really need to you can pose it, you can do whatever you want with it you also open it up, there is a brain in there, I like that I like how it spins I never, I did not test the fire missiles yeah, they work, it's good so that's basically how I would upgrade this set. Ah, and the crate. How you can upgrade is get two crates. Now I got two crates. It's much better. And in rest, that's basically like the set is perfect. Except probably those helmets. I think they look a little bit ugly. Okay, like I, I like the shock troopers, but I think those look. They're just so new. I did not get used to seeing them, it's like, I got used with the file for the 330 second, with the shock troopers, but with those shiny ones, I did not get used, so it's probably just that, because I just got this at like 2-3 hours ago, and it's beautiful, definitely gonna army build this, at I'm planning on getting at least 10, so minimum, not least, mi minimum 10, minimum 10 of those, because it's the best value I've ever seen in a set. One of those mini figures. Like this thing for thirty dollars you get ten, okay? It's three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars you could spend on a UCS set probably like I think the UCS X Wing is about three hundred dollars. Uh, but you get like thirty of those. Thirty phase two grants and ten shock troopers. 20 bell droids, 10 of those, 10 of those, 10, you get a lot of figures and a lot of value for this set, 
It's a say that everybody's gonna be army building, I guarantee. Just wanted to say a little opinion about this set, and those are all the upgrades that you guys could do. Ah, and why I almost forgot. You also include the uh, ATR team, it's also a custom design made by me. You can also find the instructions in, on Rebrickable, I'll have a link down in the description. You can fit a minifigure, I'm lazy to put a minifigure on there. Because I don't want to bore you guys a lot. So you can also add the ATRT which will do spectacular. Of course you have an, the new droid thing in the set so you can have the ATRT fighting with that one. And that's basically it guys. You know we got rid of a speeder, we got another one, a better one. We got rid of the barricade, we replaced it with the ATRT. And we also added a little bit extra builds to the droid side. And if even without this, if this wasn't in the set, then it would be a normal speeder with a normal ATR team. Like what I have here, this would be like perfect. Nobody would have complained. Probably helmet holes, but I don't have a problem with that. Okay, this video is getting too long. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. There is a mock project coming. You'll probably enjoy it, hopefully. So, goodbye.